Good evening, this is Tracy coming at you with a video. I just want to just talk to you just for a moment about and give you an encouragement for those that will receive encouragement from me. You know, we are living in tumultuous times. We're living in trying times where um, there are atrocious things that are happening in this world. Um, people are angry. They're, they're, they're flying off the handle. And it's, it's hard to watch, but even little children are being abused and attacked. It seems like in, in, in a alarm, at an alarming rate. And so what, what, what I want to say to, to, to the Christian, to the child of God is this. We can have peace even in, we can have peace even in this time. Um, a peace that passes all understanding. We need to keep our hope on the Lord. Keep our hope in the Lord. Our hope is in God. Um, and in the midst, and in the midst of a chaotic world, in the midst of a chaotic world, we can still have, uh, we can still have peace. We can still have peace. You know, the Lord promises peace. It's, promises us peace. He says, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Peace is a, is a gift to the child of God. God is our peace. He is called the Prince of Peace. And this so is our inheritance. Uh, Galatians speaks of uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. Peace is uh, something that uh, has been given to us as children of God. And what a beautiful gift it is. You know, there is a hymn that says, um, it goes like, Mighty rock in a weary land, cooling shade on the burning sand, faithful guide in the pilgrim's band, a shelter in the time of storm. Jesus is a shelter. He is a shelter in the time of storm. Um, no matter what it is that you're going through, um, it could be um, a, a bad doctor's re a medical report, uh, death in the family. It could be death in the family, divorce, a, a bad medical report. Um, really, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, in the midst of all of that, you can have peace. Now, 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 peace is not, let me tell you something. Peace is not the absence of, of problems. That, that, that is probably a worldly uh, understanding of peace. But peace is not the absence of problems. But rather, peace is our posture in the middle of problems. It is our, our, our position, our stance, uh, in the it's in the in the middle of our problems, we can still have uh, tranquility. We can still have serenity, a confidence and a trust in God that causes us to relax in Him because He we know that He is with us because He has given us promises that He is with us. He promises to never leave nor forsake us. He says to cast all of His all of our cares upon him, that every hair of our head is numbered, you know, to call upon him and he will answer us and show great and mighty things that we do not know. It's, it's very important to know the promises of God that he has for us. And as children of God, when we, when we know these, these promises and we, we trust and believe and we meditate upon these things, that peace comes upon us. You pray and you ask God, you know, for that peace. It's a supernatural thing, and, and I, the world does not understand it when you're going through things that, and situations that break, you know, normal people, because uh, uh, they see you and, and, and you're, you're in a state of peace. It's, 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 it's a... So if you do not know Jesus, uh, or if you don't have that peace in the Lord, um, Lord, I don't have your peace. Peace is uh, the bread of the children. It is a promise that you have given to every believer. And I ask you, Lord, for your, you leave with me. 
You said your peace you give to me, not as the world give, give you unto me. Let my heart not, not be troubled and neither let it be afraid. And I claim that peace in Jesus' name. And anytime you don't feel the peace of God, you know, you just spend a little time in prayer claiming that peace. The kingdom of God is righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. It is the bread of the children. It is our inheritance. It is our right. And you, you ask for it and you claim it. Whatever problem that you're going through, you tell God about it and you leave it there. You walk away from it, trusting that he's going to take care of it. It is a trust. You have to put your trust. It's literal. You have to put your trust in God. And it may be scary because if you're like a lot of, if you're like some people, well, if you're like me, you really had no one to ever trust. And you may have trust issues. But God is not like man that he should lie. That's the beautiful thing about God. He will not lie to us. He will not let us down. And if he says that you can trust him, if you cast, if you if you come to him, he, he bids us to cast our cares and our concerns and our problems upon him, he'll take care of it. And while you're going through it, he's going to give you peace. And then if you, when you start feeling nervous and worrisome and anxious, just pray again. Just pray again and ask God to, uh, to, to to take away that anxiety and that fear and give you the peace that 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 you that you have promised. He has promised to be the peace in the middle of a storm. Amen.